So we give you praise. We give you praise, dear Lord. We thank you, God, for this opportunity we have to be in your presence. We acknowledge your word. We acknowledge the prophetic touch over the entirety of the Bible. We see how you called those of times gone by in a great prophetic anointing. And for this, we're grateful. Your word declares that in the last days, you would pour out your spirit upon all flesh and that sons and daughters would prophesy. Young men would see visions and old men would dream dreams and on your servants and had maidens that you would pour out your spirit and they would prophesy. It seems to me that when we really examine the intent of scripture, we find that it is your divine will to endue your people with prophetic power. For after all, according to 1 Corinthians 14 and 1, it says earnestly pursue love and eagerly desire spiritual gifts, especially, especially the gift of prophecy. Again, in 1 Corinthians 14 and 39, it says, so my brothers earnestly desire to prophesy and do not forbid speaking in tongues. Lord, we desire to prophesy. We want the fulfillment of scripture to come to pass. And according to 1 Corinthians 14, 24 through 25, if an unbeliever or uninstructed person comes in among us, while we are all prophesying, he will be convicted and called to account by all. And the secrets of his heart will be made known. And he will fall down on his face and worship God, proclaiming that God is truly among you. God, let that prophetic touch come upon us, Lord. It's your will for sons and daughters who shall prophesy. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Let that which has written come to pass in our life according to first samuel 10 and 6 then the spirit of the lord will rush upon you and you will prophesy with them and you will be transformed into a different person transform us renew us and let your gifts of the spirit flow into our lives we desire to prophesy it's not a selfish ambition, no, but your word says to eagerly desire to prophesy. Eagerly desire to prophesy. So here we are, hungry and thirsty. We want you to fill our mouth with your word. Speak through us, Lord. May it be your word and not our own. May it not be a thought of our own imagination, but the mind of Christ working inside of us. Speak, Lord. Speak. Speak, Lord. Speak. May we have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. In Jesus' name, amen.